Welcome back to Garage Matters. Today we'll be taking apart the spare folding mirror for the Celica GT4. Many of us owners out there have the issue of the worn gears in here breaking off. So we'll go ahead and take this mirror over to the workbench and take it apart. Now in order to access the worn gear and the motor inside here, we're going to have to remove this glass right here. All you got to do is tilt this glass up. You can use one of these trim tool removals or a big flathead screwdriver. I'm going to use this trim tool removal and just pry up on it. Now it might seem like you're going to break the glass and that's because on the back side of this glass there's glue holding the glass on. Get it up like that. These two hands. Let's pry up on it and it should come right off like that. Now on the back side of this mirror there's these two hooks right here that hook up underneath these two tabs right here and then these two little snap-ons they'll just snap on to the bottom of here. So when you go back to install it you want to put it back up like this and then push it back down. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and remove these screws down here. There's three screws down here. One, two, three. Sometimes when you go to remove these screws down here, they're seized in here. So there's a couple of methods you can use to go ahead and remove these screws. Sometimes it's just as simple as tightening and then loosening. So what happens when you tighten the screw, you're breaking the torque. This works sometimes. What you're going to do is just tighten it and then back it off. If that doesn't work, another method that you can use is taking a Phillips head screwdriver, putting it on top of the head of the screw, and then tapping it a couple times. What that's supposed to do is go ahead and break the torque. Once it's broken loose, you can go ahead, use your Phillips head screwdriver, and back it out. Now once you got those screws removed, you can remove this bracket now. Next thing we gotta do is remove this plastic piece. In order to do that, all you gotta do is unscrew the center of the screw and take it on out. Now this next part is extremely important when it comes to removing this assembly out of the housing. You want to make sure you unscrew these four screws right here. One, two, three, and then to access the fourth screw that's under here, this top piece right here, you're going to have to remove this top piece first. So there's three screws holding this top piece. One, two, three. Once you remove this top piece, you'll be able to access the fourth screw that's holding this assembly onto this housing. So we'll go ahead and remove this top piece first. Alright, once you got these three screws loose, you're just going to take them out. This top piece is going to come right off. Now with that top piece removed, you can now access the four screws that's holding this assembly onto the housing. Once these screws are removed, we can go ahead and pull this assembly out the side right here. All you're going to do is just push it out the side right here. And this should come right out. Now in order to access the worm gear right here in the motor, we're going to have to pull this covering piece off. In order to do that, this side covering piece, we're just going to pop it off first. Once you got this piece off, set it to the side. This top piece, all you got to do is take a flathead screwdriver and pop it off from the top. Once we get the covering piece off, it's going to expose the motor and the worm gear. This is how the window folds. These gears, they're made out of plastic, so over time, they'll get brittle and they'll end up breaking. Most owners out there have the issue of their windows not folding because of this broken gear. My original goal was to go ahead and take this one and swap it out with the one that's currently on the car and then putting it back on. But, unfortunately, both the driver and passenger side folding mirrors are broken, so I only have one of these. Now I'm not going to go any further as far as the disassembly of this worm gear right here. I'm going to send this whole assembly to someone I know who can 3D print this for us. I want to send this whole assembly that way once they're done 3D printing it, they can reassemble it and test fit it. Once that's completed and the ops checks are good, we'll go ahead and distribute it to the masses. Be sure to join us next time, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on that episode. And always.
Join us next time on Garage Matters. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button.